Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Derry and this is Dr. Derry's Diary. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you follow me on Instagram. So let's go ahead and get into another episode of Debt Free with Derry. So for this video, I decided to go ahead and just do a June recap and a debt snowball update and then do a separate video for July just so I won't make the videos extremely long. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into June's overview. Alrighty, so if you watched my last video, you know that I redid my budget sheets and I actually had to go back and redo my budget sheets again because I um, was missing a few things, but I went ahead and filled everything in accordingly. And yeah, so let's go ahead and make the changes for the month. Alrighty, so our water bill ended up being $39 instead of $50, which is good. And our utilities, which we are paying at the second half of the month, our utilities ended up being $135.78. We did make the student loan payment of $1,000 on my student loan. And then we made an additional student loan payment on mine. Well, I'm the only one that has student loans now, so of course mine. Um, we paid an extra $600 towards my student loan, making our total payment for my student loan this month, 1,500, that's 1,500, 2,500, so that made it $3,100 that we paid total on my student loan. Let's see. Also, I'm gonna just put down here, um, Like I mentioned in the previous video, this month um, we had Trey's birthday. His birthday was on June 20th, and we had a big 10th birthday party for him. He turned 10, and we had the gaming truck and all that fun stuff. So um, me and my husband, we spent about $600 on Trey's birthday. So we did have to add that into our money for this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and calculate our total expenses. And I'm going to include Trey's birthday as our expenses as well for the month. Okay, and also uh, my gym did charge $18 this month, so that's $18. I don't know if my math was off. It was off by like $100 or something last time. But anyway, before our changes, it should have been $3,477.38. And we actually spent, oh, plus Trey's birthday. We actually spent four thousand fifty two dollars and sixteen cents and then for the debt snowball we actually spent three thousand six hundred dollars for the debt snowball our goals were to cut back spending and start back using cash and to make extra payments if possible um cutting back expenses i can't say that we technically did that but we did start back using our cash envelopes and we did make extra payments, so I was able to make an extra $600 payment toward my student loan. So we did do that. So now let's go ahead and flip over to our debt snowball. Alrighty, so for the debt snowball, student loan number student loan number one is at $20,105.85. I don't know why I wrote that in purple. I wasn't supposed to write that in purple. Oh, well, I guess I'll keep going. <laughs> I hope you can't hear my dogs. They are back there barking. Let's see. Our land is now at $30,896.37. My husband's truck is at $34,829.37. And then we have my um, largest student loan, which is at 308, 158, 82. All right. So for the interest on my smallest student loan, the interest is now at $17.75. And the interest on my largest student loan is now at $9,000. $201.56. So my total interest, I'm just going to put it right down here. My total interest is $9,219.31. All right. So 
once you add up all of this our total amount now is at three nine three nine nine zero fifty six which is a total decrease of five thousand nineteen dollars and fifty five cents from last month making the amount that we paid towards our debt snowball a total of sixty six thousand six hundred and forty eight dollars and fifty seven cents so it was good to see a decrease of about five thousand dollars this month that's pretty great debt snowball goals going forward so originally i wanted to just pay ten thousand on my student loan interest to get it down into about four thousand range but my interest is at nine thousand two hundred nineteen dollars and the interest will be like that until september we will have to start making payments towards my student loan in october so my goal now being that it, we have roughly july august and september to pay on my interest I just want to pay off the interest okay just get rid of that interest pay off my student loan interest we're gonna do <clears throat> we're gonna do that that's gonna be my goal to pay that off by the end of September So that, that's my main goal right now, to pay the interest off by the end of September. Um, our other goal is still to get the get the land into the 20,000s in the 20,000 range by September, but we'll actually do that next month. So we're definitely on track. I'm just going to put, I'm just going to leave it at that because if we pay an extra fifteen hundred dollars on the land i'm sorry if we pay an extra thousand dollars on the land next month we'll be in the twenty nine thousand range so we'll definitely make that goal as well so yeah pay we're gonna get rid of this interest that way payments will start going towards the principal but in october the interest will start back accruing so we'll see how that goes and we'll see how it is when i get my actual student loan payment Alrighty guys, so you just saw my June overview. So we were able to do pretty well even with having to pay for Trey's birthday party. Yeah, for the grocery budget, we definitely went over the grocery budget if you want to include Trey's birthday stuff because I had to buy candy, I bought plates, I bought a lot of stuff for Trey's party. Um, I, I made these little cute little cups with his name and stuff on them. I put a picture here. And I had to I order the decorations and everything like that. The decorations and stuff was about $80. The cups that I made for him were roughly about $50. And then um, we bought two tents for the party because, you know, it's super hot. But we tried to have the party towards the end of the day so the sun would be setting. But we did buy two tents. So that was roughly like $100. Um, the gifts that we bought him, roughly about $100. Um, what else did we buy? My husband bought fireworks that was about fifty dollars um he put a little bit towards the gaming truck about eighty dollars um we bought the cake that was about fifty so yeah um when we added everything up together when we went over it it was roughly about six hundred rounded up to six hundred dollars it might have been like 575 or something like that but it was roughly about six hundred total because i had to, i just kept having to go back to the store and buy like little random things like we bought tiki torches and then we had to go back and buy lighters <laughs> then we bought ice and i bought more drinks because um we didn't have enough drinks so yeah just buying stuff left and right for the party but um next month we won't have a party so that'll be good um for july i did redo my sheets but i'm also going to be adding another sheet so i'm super excited to show you all that in the next video um I got me some more pins. Y'all, I love pins. Like, I really do love pins. So, I'm going to be using these in my next video because it'll go with my next little sheet that I added. And then I also, I also made me some new cash envelopes. So, I haven't finished my cash envelopes yet. But, um, in the next video, I will be doing a cash envelope stuffing. But, yeah, I, um, went with a pink, orange, and gray theme this time. So yeah, I'm super excited about 
using my new cash envelopes um, I have to still put the names of what each envelope is gonna be for and then I'm still gonna probably put my name on this envelope somewhere so yes that will be in the next video um, what else is coming up so in this month of June I did work two extra shifts this month I worked a 12 hour shift and I worked an extra 10 hour shift so that's 22 hours I worked extra so at the end of July I should be roughly getting like a $1,100 bonus check from working those extra hours so that'll be awesome I will be using that to go towards my interest because you know like I said I'm trying to my goal now is to pay the interest off so when I get that extra check I'll put that towards it um, at the end of this month June today is June what today is June 25th so I get paid at the end of the, I get paid on the last day of the month which will be June 30th I'll be also getting an extra check from the extra hours I worked back in May and I think this extra check is going to be about $800 so I'll talk about how I'm going to use that in the next video as well but yeah for the most part um we are getting this interest knocked down hopefully like I said we're going to get this interest knocked out by September and then once we do that we'll be able to start knocking down my smallest student loan and you know get that thing gone you know we trying to get this debt up out of here <laughs> but um anyway guys thank you all for watching if you have any questions comments or concerns make sure to leave them down in the description box below oh before i go if you like this little crop hoodie let me see it's like a little it's a cropped hoodie from dimensional athletica if you did not know i am a dimensional athletica ambassador and she has really cute stuff this is a black owned business and it is a fitness apparel line but this cropped hoodie is so cute and it is so comfortable it's super soft on the inside like huh, really cute to wear around the house and you know when it gets a little bit cooler I'll wear it outside but right now you know it's like 100 degrees outside <laughs> but it's super cute and I also have her camo set which is awesome it is so cute I'll put pictures over here and then also make sure you all check out her website i'm going to put a link in the description box below and make sure you use my code dairy10 for 10 percent off your order all right and like i said um, make sure you subscribe like and comment and i will see y'all in the next one bye